All the time I hear people using their debit cards daily as a form of payment, and today I'm going to explain to you why this is not a very smart idea. Currently, debit cards are the most common method of payment in various places around the world. And that's why I decided to make this video to tell you everything you're missing out on or losing when you use your debit card. I consider it a financial mistake, and you need to know why. Debit cards are products created by banks to facilitate direct transactions from your bank account to another person's or company's account. However, using them all the time is a foolish idea. So, stay with me until the end of the video and then comment if you agree with me. Please like this video so that more people understand why debit cards are not good for your personal finances. However, I won't be entirely negative about debit cards. I'll give you the perspective from both sides of the coin, when they are good and when they are not so good. The first reason I don't consider debit cards a good financial product is due to the lack of security. They are secure to some extent because they have a password that anyone who wants to use it must have. However, the responsibility is entirely yours. If your debit card is stolen and someone forces you to provide the password, there's no way to ask the bank to reimburse the money. That money is withdrawn directly from your account and cannot be recovered. In the case of credit card fraud, you can dispute the charge with the bank. Although it takes time and involves bureaucracy for them to investigate the case, but you will still get your money back. So, we already have the first point where the debit card falls short compared to the credit card. Another point to consider is the personal control that each of the cards offers. A debit card, when it's out of money, is depleted, and that's it. You're left with no option in case of an emergency. On the other hand, when using a credit card, you may have a limit that is higher or lower than the money you actually have in your bank account. However, I want to emphasize that with either card, you should not spend more than you can afford. This is the key point. As we have already discussed in various videos on the channel, spending more than you earn is one of the biggest financial mistakes a person can make. And it's also one of the most common mistakes I see. However, if you lack self-control, a credit card may not be the best option for you, but you're an adult and it's time to start managing your finances and yourself. One piece of advice I give to all those watching is to set your credit card limit at a maximum of 75% of what you earn in a month. Remember that no money is free, as I've mentioned in many videos on this channel. To avoid falling into the snowball effect that a credit card can become, do not spend more than you can and pay the full amount of the bill every month. Never just pay a portion of the bill or make the minimum payment for the month, as this is financial suicide. Now let's move on to the third point. The benefits of debit cards compared to credit cards are very different. When you spend with a debit card, you're simply using your own money directly from your bank account. It's like withdrawing money from your account and paying the person or company you're purchasing from directly. On the other hand, when you spend the same money with a credit card, you earn points that you can later exchange for airfare, hotel stays, and travel. Who doesn't like that? Imagine an all-inclusive resort in Cancun, cruises, and many other activities that end up feeling like free money. This is where I assert that the debit card doesn't make sense. Why would you use a debit card when, if you use a credit card responsibly, they give you money back? You shouldn't use a card that offers absolutely nothing in return. And I want to emphasize that you should use a credit card as long as you use it responsibly, as I mentioned paying the full amount of the bill month after month. You can even spend money you don't have immediately available because you have a credit line. However, I'm not saying you should get into debt with credit cards and finance them until the end of the month, as that would ruin your finances. What I mean is that if you know you will receive a significant amount on the 15th, for example, and your credit card bill is due after that date, you may not have that money in your account but a credit card would allow you to spend that money and pay it off after the bill's closing, but always before the payment due date. Never exceed the due date, as that's when the danger of credit cards appears. The interest rates are among the highest in the market. The benefits of credit come with responsibilities. If you're irresponsible, instead of benefits, you'll have debts and many problems. Lastly, one more reason you shouldn't use debit cards is because in today's financial system, one of the most important, if not the most important things is your credit score. 
thanks to having a good credit score, you can get mortgage loans for your dream home or for a house you plan to invest in, as well as financing for vehicles if you can't pay for them up front and many other benefits. But what credit score does a debit card provide you? None, absolutely none. Debit doesn't generate credit because when you use a debit card, you don't demonstrate to anyone that you're responsible with your payments. You simply pay directly with the money available in your account. In contrast, by using a credit card correctly, paying the full amount of the bill every month and before the due date, you accumulate credit points, opening up a range of possibilities to continue growing in other areas with money borrowed from the bank. Furthermore, when it comes to protecting your purchases, the credit card offers an extra layer of security. Many credit card companies have strict consumer protection policies that can help recover your money in case of defective purchases or undelivered services. This means that if you buy a defective product or a seller doesn't deliver what was promised, the credit card can act as an intermediary, allowing you to dispute the charge and protecting your funds. This additional protection is not available when using a debit card. For many, the credit card may seem like a villain, and I still know many friends who have never had a credit card because they believe it's the gateway to debt. However, it's not the credit card that will put you in debt, but rather if you start spending recklessly without any control. In addition to most people having this fear of credit cards, they also don't know about these benefits that I'm bringing to you today. You should weigh the pros and cons of credit and debit cards and make an informed decision. In summary, while using a debit card can be convenient, our video today aims to highlight why choosing a credit card can be a financially more advantageous choice. When considering the additional security, consumer protection reward programs and the positive impact on your credit score, it becomes evident that the credit card offers a range of benefits that the debit card simply can't match. However, it's essential to emphasize that responsible use of the credit card is crucial to reap these benefits. Paying the bill in full every month and not spending beyond your financial means are key principles to ensure that the credit card works in your favor. So, the next time you're at the checkout and faced with the choice between a debit card or a credit card, carefully consider the advantages each one offers. With the proper knowledge and financially conscious approach, the credit card can be the right tool to improve your financial security and provide additional benefits over time. Now knowing this, please leave a comment below telling me which payment option is best for you. Debit or credit? Let's list the benefits of each. Which one do you prefer and why? Comment below and check out this video that I know you'll love. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up.